I will start with nivolumab because I think that that is a definitive phase three trial uh, where patients who had failed a platinum-based regimen uh, within six months of initial treatment were then randomized to nivolumab or a standard of care that the investigator could choose from, second line in other words, after platinum, and uh, that could be docetax or methotrexate or cetuximab. So it was investigator's choice. And in that direct comparison, the uh, checkpoint inhibitor was superior for overall survival. And it was also superior, but not immediately. Uh, there's a fairly sharp drop-off in curves, but then a separation of curves for progression-free survival. So it is the picture we've seen in other diseases that many patients don't benefit. In fact, probably the majority don't benefit, but those who do um, are benefiting enough to lift the entire survival curve to be superior, and furthermore, if a given patient responds, it can be for a long time, certainly much longer than what we've observed in uh, chemotherapy-based regimens. Now, pembrolizumab is the other drug, and that has not been tested in a phase three trial, but also extensively as a single agent um, in a large phase two trial. Uh, so multiple cohorts adding uh, together, and it too has been approved, and the activity looks very similar to uh, what we would have expected, particularly now knowing how nivolumab fared in a comparison. So response rates around 20%, and uh, sometimes very long responses, and what appears to be a group of people who survive uh, fairly long periods of time.